Let's address the title of this video right off the bat. It says, stop clearing content, end game players. That's only because I could only fit a certain number of characters in a title. A more realistic title would be something like this. Proceed with caution when clearing endgame content because the reward structure that Kabam has laid out is giving players more tier 5 basic than tier 2 alpha, and if you clear content too quickly, you could end up putting tier 5 basic in the overflow when eventually you're going to need that tier 5 basic in order to take 6 star champions up to rank 4. But again, I can only fit so much in the title. Also, this is really directed at endgame players, and endgame is kind of a loose term. What what is what does endgame really mean? Well, for me, there's a clear divide in Act 5 content and lower, and then variant content, Act 6, and beyond. And that clear divide is because once you get to the variant content and Act 6, you need to start ranking up champions specifically to tackle the content you're going up against. Whereas before that, in Act 5 and lower, you could for the most part rank up any champion the nodes don't really require uh, you to have specific champions of course it's going to be an easier time having the more powerful champions at your disposal but for the most part you can you can get away with just ranking up whatever your, your whatever your favorite champions are whereas in the variant difficulties the game will only let you play with certain champs so that's that's the divide for me that's why i consider um variant in act six to be end game content and anything beyond that this is uh, as time goes on, the variants are more like entry-level endgame content, and yeah, anyway. So, why why for endgame players, though? Let's take a look at these variant rewards here. Um, you'll notice that uh, in the rewards, you get one tier 5 basic just for completing uh, the content, and then you get two tier 5 basics uh, for 100% exploring. And you notice, I'm not 100% exploring. It'd be fun to, I mean, you know, the variant content's fun, but this is the position that Kabam has put us in, where it is no longer a good idea to complete this content. Um, unless, of course, you need the tier 5 basic, but looking at the rest of these rewards here, you can see there are no tier 2 alphas. We can, we can expand every single one of these menus. There's no tier 2 alphas. There's tier 2 alpha value in such that there are these rank up gems, and yeah, that represents a little bit of value uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, tier two alpha, but at the end of the day, anytime you want to use a tier five basic, for, whether it's a f for a five star or a six star champion, anytime you want to consume one of these tier five basics, you still have to use tier two alpha at the same time. So that puts us in a position where, because we're not also getting tier two alpha alongside this, eventually you could end up with tier five basics in the overflow i've seen i'm seeing it a lot with my alliance mates if we look at my own inventory here uh, i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about um you can see i have eight tier five basic and i only have eight tier two alpha <laughs> so there's no way that i can use up all of these tier five basics uh, the game won't allow it and the only reason that i don't have tier five basics that will be expiring is because I'm I, I'm not completing content. I've stopped completing that content uh, as much as possible. Like if I didn't do a Legends run for uh, Act Seven, I, I probably would not have completed that content as well. Um, and like I said, I, I think there is going to be change coming uh, in the form of just what players are required to use to rank up our champions. Because when it comes to taking a six-star champion up to rank four. We finally see a rank up here that does not require tier 2 alpha. Problem is, we can't take 6 star champions up to rank 4 yet. And we probably won't be able to until the earliest I would say is, is probably uh, the end of the year. Um, close to the end of the year. And uh, yeah, well, I mean, we'll see how it goes. It's all up to Kabam really. But yeah, we're, we're not able to do something like this yet is, is the point. Um, so it's... It's bizarre that Kabam has kind of shifted this ratio for over a year now. The first time I really noticed the change of tier 5 basic to tier 2 alpha ratio was when the uh, rewards got updated for Alliance 4. This was over a year ago when the tier 2 alpha were completely removed from the master level rewards. And, you know, at the time there was a lot of complaints from the master level players and Kabam's reasoning behind removing the tier 2 alpha was something along the lines of, you know, keeping a, a certain reward identity to certain areas of the game so you know kind of kind of the way that um, maybe there's more shards in one area of the game more catalysts in another type of thing 
And conceptually, I understand that, but it doesn't really make sense to me uh, when looking at the rewards here. Um, especially when you start to connect the dots to other areas of the game over the past year, where you're also seeing a shift in rewards to see more Tier 5 basic compared to Tier 2 Alpha. Now, you know, I can speculate as to why Kabam's doing this, and I'll offer some speculation, but really, uh, it's up to you to kind of draw conclusions as to why you think Kabam's doing this. Um, I'll speculate a little bit here, but really, I just want to offer some advice and share what I'm doing to try to manage these rewards as best as possible so one speculation starting on the cynical side here we could see that uh you know kabam is offering tier 2 alpha for sale uh you could pick up three of these bundles where you know you, you, you can get upwards of six tier 2 alpha in total uh if you feel like spend it a bit so is it just to inflate the value of tier 2 alpha so that we uh you know can keep our tier 5 basic and not let them expire potentially uh, another kind of uh, cynical outlook on things could be looking at the Glory Store. Um, you know, you can get potions in the Glory Store for, I mean, not necessarily free. You still have to put time and energy into getting Glory, but you don't have to spend money on, on Glory. Um, but it is going to consume your Glory, which you could also spend on something like Tier 2 Alpha. So maybe it's a push to, to try to get players to maybe pick up potions more with units rather than glory and then you know spend your glory on tier 2 alpha once again to preserve your tier 5 basics um or kabam is just really playing the long game and and trying to push players uh and like really really push players into ranking six star champions over five stars because five star champions they are easier to awaken to take their their signature ability up and if we look at what it takes to take a five star champion uh, who's already at rank 4 to rank 5, it's 2 tier 5 basic and 6 tier 2 alpha. Now, if we look at a the, the, the basically 6-star equivalent of that, um, taking up a 6-star champion to rank 2, it costs 3 tier 5 basic and 7 tier 2 alpha. So you're paying one additional catalyst uh, to do this rank up, one of, one of each, one of each uh, tier 5 basic and tier 2 alpha. So, in, a, in many ways, it doesn't really make sense to rank up a 6-star champion that's potentially going to be weaker because they don't... It's not easy to, to awaken and sig them up. Um, so and, and it'll be a little bit more expensive than ranking up the 5-star counterpart. However, the ratio... The ratio is better, and, you, and it feels better not letting rewards expire. So, Kabam has found a way to, uh, to nudge players to... Uh, more than nudge, to really push players... Uh, once you hit a certain point in the game, to focus on ranking up your six-star champions just so that you don't have uh, catalysts expire. And that way, when you eventually do take uh, six-star champions up to, you know, rank three and higher, um, it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll once again just feel better. Um, where once again, you're dumping more tier five basic than tier two alpha. So, Again, I don't know exactly uh, the reason, the reasoning behind why Kabam is doing this. Maybe they're just making that long play. And even though it doesn't make sense today, if someone just downloads the game today, and by the time they can actually get uh, a six-star champion up to rank four, maybe the the outlook on the entire game will just feel better, being that there's more more tier five basic available. Could be that too. Um, but some advice I have to share with you guys is one, like I said. Stop completing content. Don't take that exactly literally of, of just never, like freeze up, don't ever complete content. You can complete content, but proceed with caution. I am personally not going to complete certain areas of the game because I'm going to hold those rewards for later. Um, the second piece of advice is to, whenever possible, focus on ranking six stars over five stars. You can still rank up five stars, especially if you have rank up gems. It's, it's not so bad, but uh, only rank them when when you need to um like i needed to rank up spider ham here to have a uh a power sting uh counter for for certain nodes um so you can still do stuff like this if you need to but for the most part try to focus on on six stars if possible uh and then uh the glory store as well uh picking up tier two alpha there and the final piece of advice i have is another kind of unfortunate side effect of all of this Re again regardless of the reason it's all speculation the reason but I recommend not opening the Daily Thronebreaker Crystals, which is one of the biggest reasons 
to get the Thronebreaker title is to get these crystals, which can contain fully formed tier five basics. And when these crystals first came out, I was like, whoa, dude, fully formed tier five basic. Like, okay, Thronebreaker title, totally worth it. But then you realize like, well, can I use these things though? Is that just going to put it in the overflow? Listen, I still think it's worth it to get Thronebreaker, but maybe don't open these crystals. And I don't know the exact ratio of tier five basic to, to tier two alpha in these crystals, because um, there are tier two alpha in these things. But if you get lucky and get the tier five basic, which are more rare, um, that could actually screw you over. So regardless of what the average is, you have to think about what is what is possible to get. And yeah, I recommend not opening these things. Save them for later. It will come in handy uh, again once we can take six-star champions up to rank four, whenever that day will come. Because it is going to take a whopping five tier five basic and zero tier two alpha to do this kind of rank up. So eventually, everything will work out, I think. But for the time being, yeah, um, that's my advice. Be careful about completing content. Uh, all right, that's that's going to do it for this one, though, guys. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.